welcome to my channel, Pinkies Reborn Creations and Collection. And today I have my Paradise Gallery doll. Um, I believe I named her Sarah. Okay, so as you guys haven't seen her for a long time, and this happened to her because of my bed sheet covers that were black, and I did not think this would happen also excuse the bad nail polish i haven't done my nails at all but so then i got this in the mail from lori's creations 2017 and she said this would actually take it off so i want to try it like right now all right so i wet it and squeezed it and now let's try it um, okay, I just broke it. Um. Hmm. Um. Is it doing anything? Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to put the camera down because I'm going to do it really hard with both of my hands. So, just hold on. Okay, so I'm not really seeing much of a difference unless maybe you are. I mean, I guess... But honestly, it just really kind of like broke off into pieces. Hi everyone, I'm back. So, I was trying to scrub this off from her eyes. Not very noticeable, but it's a little bit noticeable. But I'm going to take off the onesie and I'm going to be doing Theme Thursday by having you on. <laughs> Having you on. So, um, let me just take this off. Oh, I wanted to do like an update or whatever. So. Um, so a lot of you have you have me on Instagram, so God's blessings. Thank you for reaching me out on Instagram and letting me know about how manageable diabetes can be because I have been diagnosed with diabetes now. I have diabetic and I have medication. I have to take two pills a day and I have to poke my blood and put it in the strip and write down like the number, the level of my blood sugar. Um, so the doctor does want me to have that monitored just so I guess they can see like where I'm at and if they need to increase my medication. Um, but I also do need to do it to like encourage myself to like not drink or drink sugary drinks or eat candy. Um, so I was drinking soda every single day and now I have diabetes. Um, yeah. So the theme is safari. So I have these monkey pajamas 
that I think are baby's Zadries, but I'm going to be using it on Sarah, on Sarah. And I need a onesie, so I'm going to look for a color that matches. Um, okay, this is a boy Okay, so I found this little sunflower onesie. Okay, so we're just going to use it. Okay, another thing I wanted to talk about is my reborn business. So, I did reborn Crystal, my bountiful baby, and I had an eBay account. So, I picked up some braiding crochet hair from the beauty supply store, and I used that to braid. The color was very beautiful. It's why I picked it. A lot of you know what I'm talking about. It was very beautiful and it matched the skin perfectly and it's like I really like it because it really comes with a, like a, a lot of a lot of amount of hair. I know some people use mohair but I feel it's so thin that you would have to use like a really thin needle or I don't know, it's just so thin and like, I just, I'm not really a fan of it to be honest, but I mean, it depends, like if my client wants, if my customer wants more hair, well then, well hair it is, whatever hair you want, but I like to use beauty supply store hair from like, the beauty supply store. So that's what I did on my crystal. And I had her on eBay, and a customer asked me if it was 100% human hair. And I'm like, no, it's not 100% human hair, you know, like, I'm honest. I got the hair from the beauty supply store. So that person got the impression that because my dog, Crystal, didn't have 100% human hair, that it was a fabricated china doll and no it's not and shout out to the strange nursery for clarifying that for me no matter what hair you use to rule a reborn it's still a reborn because it's handmade hand painted it's not like made in a fabric it's still handmade so i am like I've been very bummed about this and I didn't even know where to begin to explain myself or like talk about it because like I know mommy Cass she gets her hair from the beauty supply store and I have a local beauty supply store with a whole bunch of I just love going there okay and I just love to choose beauty supply beauty supply hair and I didn't notice how much of a problem it was for some people until I like started selling my doll on eBay, my reborn crystal doll on eBay, and I felt like they were trying to say my reborn was not authentic, and that is false. Obviously, it's false because I got the kid from Bonifa Baby, of course, and get all the kids from Bonifa Baby. The baby McPherson's wherever and um so I lowered the price for crystal she was at 300 and now I have her for 250 
And I'm not going on eBay because I feel like it might have been like a hater or like a competitor, a troll, or like just somebody that's like hating and I don't know, it's just not good because I just didn't, don't feel like it went right for me and I'm just really not going back to be honest. So, my Crystal Reborn is 250 right now, and she is 21 inch. She's rooted with beauty supply hair, and the reason why I brought the price down is because she's not as detailed as, like, let's say, like, the babies that I, uh, CJ, that I made for Queen Bee, and this new candle kit that I'm making for her has a lot of details so it has veining um she doesn't like mottling but then that's the only reason why it doesn't have mottling but i do vein mottling creases rooting eyebrows blush basically i just reborn so yeah, Crystal went down to 250 so if anybody would, like, want a 21-inch Chubby Reborn, she's up for sale. Um, it's just unfortunate that my Pinky Paradise channel is, like, mostly kid-friendly, which I don't use anymore. Because I can't have any comments and I feel like I can't communicate with people like that. But basically, because of the hair that comes from the beauty supply store, I feel like my babies are just basically budget babies. They're not like over the top expensive. They're like really budget babies. But you will get like a box opening um the baby will be magnified and have rooted hair and you can basically custom it and ask however you want it skin tone and everything so okay so this is sarah now and she's wearing the monkey pajamas oh so adorable she looks so adorable in these pajamas. So she's doing theme Thursday safari animals and she's just so cute. Anyways. So I was, I am doing a candle kit for Queen Bee and I did ended up stripping the head and repainting because she wanted it to be like cj's big sister and i remember when i did cj i did a lot of shading and that does take a lot of more like time and like you know it's like more detailed and i just wanted to do it that way because i felt like i wanted to give like the same quality that i gave gave queen b like when i gifted her cj for her it was her birthday gift um i did finish the kit at first i did it like all one color because she likes it to be like all one skin color and i did it exactly like that but i like me like looking at my work i wasn't satisfied like i know she loved it but i just want to give like the same quality so i like to do more detailing and like shadowing so i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it over and i'm just gonna do it like the same way that i did cj even though it did take longer but it has like more details and shot and like different shadowing like just different more details and like I really like the way she's turning out and she's almost done almost done being painted and then I have to root her so I'm really happy and excited about that um I could have just sent her the reborn how I had painted it previously but 
I just wanted to make it more like CJ, more detailed. So yeah. Anyways, so this is my theme Thursday and updates that I've just been really busy spending time with my family and that I will do a crafty Monday update very soon. By Monday, I should have already finished painting candle. And yeah. So that's it. So I can't wait to get back on Crafty Monday updates. And thank you for everyone who reach, reaches out to me through email and Instagram. And thank you everyone. Bye.